Aaron Burnett out front. Weeknights at 7, only on CNN. Unfortunately, we have a mayor who's out of touch with reality. Out of touch in every way, says San Diego City Councilman Kevin Faulkner, who's now demanding answers about this. CNN obtained Filner's city credit card statements from January to May, all paid by taxpayers. What are these, do you think? I mean, when you see statements like this, it raises the question of, is city business being done or not? You need to get to the bottom of this. He doesn't think that the rules apply to him. Expenses investigators are very interested in. Over five months, $511 spent at the Westgate Hotel. At least one charge was on a Sunday. The mayor's office is over here at the city administration building. The Westgate Hotel, right across the street, just steps away. The regulars at the bar tell us that the mayor was often here, and usually with a different woman every time. Why that matters? The UT San Diego reports the mayor's security detail told investigators Filner took women to the Westgate. Falconer, a Republican and on the city's audit committee, is also looking into a junket Filner took to Paris that appears to have little to do with San Diego. Falconer says it cost taxpayers $30,000. Filner has promised to pay it back, but so far, no proof of a refund. Other credit card charges that raise red flags to Falconer, $3,000 to an online reputation management firm. And oddly, $128 for a juicer. Well, you can turn ordinary food into superfood. We tried again to talk to Filner's chief of staff, Lee Burdick. No comment, folks. She still doesn't have anything to say to us, but she spoke at a luncheon meeting. And when asked if the mayor can still lead, she replied, I don't know if you know this, but the mayor has not resigned yet. And consequently, I've drawn the conclusion that, yes, he does believe that he has the way to achieve the objective set out in his vision.